All right, so this video will be a lot shorter. I predict it'll be a lot shorter because I'm not dealing with a subject that will be too complicated. I'm constantly in motion here. I'm trying to get my face nice and good. <laughs> Such a douche. Alright, so the main subject here will be... What the hell wrong with that rain? Anarchism. What anarchism is and what anarchism is not... or isn't. Specifically, it's not targeted to defining anarchism, but pushing it away from that definition that a lot of people use of being an ecclocracy. And to say the least, that most poser anarchists or people who are trying to define anarchism are actually referring to an ecclocracy. Or ecclocracism. <sighs> Where there are these guys who are in a mob and it's complete mob rule not in a democracy where this mob is you know involved with elections Ever since this girl said you know I've been saying that a lot <clears throat> that's a main problem they view Anarchism as being this belief that it's the mob's power, it's the mob rule, and there's no centralization, which isn't the case since most people are advocating polycentric law instead of this unicellular amoeba form of governments. I mean, that's the best way I can describe the state at the moment. It just came to my head. It's like an amoeba. It's one celled. It's very simplified. And it cannot function in a complicated. Or it can't function in a complicated environment. So it has to reproduce and reproduce and reproduce until it can find something that works for a while so the environment changes. What do I mean by environment? The economy. Economy is this thing where to be one celled you're not gonna get much unless you keep reproducing and reproducing with constant mitosis until you can get something that can survive that. For the United States we started off with the articles of. Well, we started off with the colonies first, which is arguable. Then we moved up to the Articles of Confederation, which was too polis, too. too much power to the states. And now we're becoming these pro national federalist junkies with the Constitution which has survived for a while but I doubt it will last I doubt that it's going to stay the same for a long time regardless love the rain eh? should I take off my shirt no, this isn't porno. It's a Mr. Rocka 7 video. Peace! <laughs> anyway. Other things that you have to worry about. Is that with an holacracy, people have a tendency to act under animal spirits. That's how I like to describe it, barring Kenzian 
terminologies which I don't agree with. That's not how a real anarchist society works. That's not a glocracy. I like to pull away from that terminology that people have put this belief into. It's kind of like when Hindus are labeled Buddhists and vice versa. They're very different in principle. Just because a few things are similar. Neglocracy can exist with a state. As a matter of fact. In fact, it can exist merely as a result of a state being incapable of supplying government order, which... Uh, polycentric legal system can provide. I'm gonna fuck this, I'm gonna take off my shirt. No. No. That thing wants to strike me down if I do. <laughs> Does not want me to do this in YouTube, it's purely just in TV. So you can argue that, and there's always this subjectivity of what is government and what's not government. For example, you can argue that that mob that's acting on its animal spirits is showing off executive power. It's enforcing its own rules, and these rules are basically juxtaposed with a legislative executive, no, legislative judicial power. That means that whatever the mob thinks, that disorderly conduct is justified as legal. But even saying this, it shows a lack of advantage monocentrically or polycentric. So it's not the case that anarchism and anarchocracy are the same thing. It's a mistake that you can easily fix away if you have any knowledge on basic civics. Not even politics, just the science of civics. Since they function under different beliefs of what is political duty and your duty to your society. Anarchism has a lot to do with absence of a state and maybe even voluntarism voluntarism with an aglocracy it's more based upon just the mob rule